we're talking wafters. Welcome back to the vlog and it's really good to see you again. Now, when you look at the wafter, you want to know what a wafter is. Now, some people sell you a wafter and say, it's a wafter. Well, it should just sit just above the bottom and do what it's meant to do. That's what a wafter does. So in the footage you're watching now, you can see the hooks resting on the bottom, the wafter's just wafting about, and it's just making it appetizing for a fish. Oh, well, anyway, you also might notice in the footage that I went over some lilies. There's something I want to show you on something as well, which is a little bit different, but it's I'm not allowed to have a drone on this water. It's part of the club rules. I can do drone footage away from the water, not near the water, not over the water, but how do I get around that? How did I get the footage at the start of this clip over the lilies? Oh, bit of old technology. What we have here is a boom. Are we in shot? Come a bit further back. There we go. We have a boom, a long pole, and this is angled over the water. So it kind of looks like it's a drone. This is how it was done in the movies before drones came along. They put a big long boom with a counterweight. So there's a pivot here, and we put a weight on this end, and we've got smooth transition over the water. So that's how we achieve that. That's just before somebody says, he's had a drone over the water. No, no, no. I've had a boom over the water with a small camera. There, as you can see. It's also a wide angle camera. Exactly the same, 1080p, fisheye, as the drone has. So that's how you do that. Without disturbing anybody, there's nobody on the lake, without annoying anybody, do it nice and simple. Remember that. If you're doing footage, for video footage, remember the people who are on the bank as well. Don't try and get, you know, don't start kind of throwing poles around all over the place. Just be courteous, do what you need to do. Anyway, what are we doing today? We've got a lovely lake here. Ah, just put a splinter in myself. That hurt. Of a hidden gem because it's overgrown and quite raw not rural quite original to how it was originally that's what makes it appealing it's a nice lake i'm gonna see if we can catch a fish and we'll speak later on more about wafters I'll let's show you a rig what we use and what we'll do is we'll just have a look and see what's what and see what what the benefits of a wafter rig is Oh, I forgot. You don't know what a wafter looks like, don't you? That's it there. That's a little wafter. Semi buoyant. What's that one? That's Mulberry. Right, I better explain what I'm doing. I've got some uh, chopped pellet, boily, and what's the name of the stuff? Pulse, pulse particles. I put them oh, just down there, just there. Hold on, can't see. 
just there. That's where I put them. So it's about a rod length out. That's not far out. And on the other bank over there, just in the break between the trees, it looks like there's a peg. Over there, about off the end of the trees, I put some more as well. I cast over. Now, if anybody came over that part of the lake, I'll bring it in and let them fish there. But that's what I've done. And I both fished over a little wafter. Stunning lake, isn't it? Isn't it a lovely lake? Listen to that. Apart from the planes and my phone going pink. That's the English countryside. That's ace. Peace and quiet, nobody on the lake. Helps it would have been Sunday night because most people are in work. I've took the day off tomorrow. Look at it. Stunning lake. I've no bubbles yet. A bit silty on the bottom of this place. It's a really old fashioned lake. This is how lakes used to look. It's also got kingfishers in here as well. Lovely kingfishers. I might try and catch one of them. I'm going to leave the camera rolling in the morning see if I can catch one. They usually come out first light. But I also seen a very big pike. There's a pike that I've seen just in the margin down there. It was over 20 pound. It was a big pike. Big female pike. Let's have a look at the other swim. Let's have a look at the lake again. Let's have a walk through. A bit dark in here. Just look. That's how pigs used to be. That's perfect. That's how I like it. Overhanging trees, lilies, carp, big pike, big pike, roach perch. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. But, if you can look over here, <laughs> it's going to be very dark. There's no street lights here. There's no light pollution whatsoever. So, anything that goes bump in the night, <gasps> I'm going to be a little bit scared. <laughs> I've run to my mum's because my mum's house isn't far from here. This is in Nutsford. So, my mum lives in Nutsford in Cheshire. She lives about two miles away, to be perfectly honest. Great. Oh well, it is what it is. So we've got particle, pellet, boiling down, uh, we've got the wafters over the baited spot, uh, we're over a hund underhanging tree, that tree over there, I'll put the rods out in a minute to be perfectly honest, uh, and by the lilies, that's cool, that's really cool. See you later on. So now the next question, it doesn't really matter what rig you use with it, well no apart from a chod rig, don't use it on a chod rig, heavens forbid because a chod rig is something completely different, a chod rig needs a boilie, so if you're fishing with a chod rig don't use a wafter, okay, my personal opinion, it's only my opinion, don't use a wafter. What you're looking for is a normal hook link, like so, this one's one it's not the best one in the world, it's something I've tried to disguise the hook by putting silicon from here to here. I just didn't want it to look like a hook, to be perfectly honest. And I've tried to pin down with a little bit of uh, putty here. So, what we've got here is a hair rig. Like I said before, I like to use a hair rig. It's simple. It's a simple way of putting actually one of these on. How do you mount it? You can either mount it through the side, or straight away through here. So I like to push that through, like so, and mount it on the hair. Now you may not have done this before. These are hair stops, and this is the hair stop I've got here. You cut these off to size, and it stops the boiler coming off the loop. So once you've got the loop, like so. Now bear in mind, some people may not know what this is, and it might be the first time they've seen anything on YouTube about fishing. I don't know why you're watching this, I don't know. But, you know, you slide that, you put a needle, 
with a little loop crochet needle and just pull the loop through like so as you can see there all right forgive me if you've been fishing for years and you think this is dull and boring i think it's dull and boring too but that's just me right and we pop that hair stop which is like a little dumbbell if that makes sense like you've got a gripping dumbbell through the hoop and that locks it in place now this is a soft bit of braid which is just here so what i want this to do is to sit on the floor on the pop-up just to sit like that or even better just gently sit on the bottom and just move around slightly like so so let's like just put this on here and illustrate it stick that in there so it's lay on the floor and this is just wafting around hence the word wafter that's it that's what wafter does nice and simple why would you use a wafter it can be noticed but it's not so as intrusive as I hear that pheasant <sighs> shut up <laughs> so that's what that is so wafter I like to use wafters I do that's what I like to do so anyway still not caught a fish well that's fishing that's just fishing that's the way fishing is they've done an overnight uh, got woken up by six o'clock by a load of planes there's a lot of planes around here because there's an airport about five mile away and they fly directly over here hmm no fish no fish i'm gonna give it about three hours and i'm gonna put the underwater footage in on the bottom of a water wolf I think I'll put the water wolf in then get back and edit it on Filmora that's what I'll do <sighs> thanks for watching Northwestern Fishing by me Cal G appreciate it